what Formula E is doing is it's looking far forward into the future and let's say 2050 and looking backwards and saying well what are we going to be doing in transportation wise in, in 30, 40 years and then saying how do we get to that point. I'm Tim Mayer, I'm uh, the representative of the ACUS which is the U.S. Uh, body that represents us to the FIA. What are some of the biggest differences between um, sort of traditional motorsport and uh, electric motorsport? I, I think for most people it's the sound. It doesn't look like a normal race tire. It actually, again, looks more like a street tire. It's designed very specifically in terms of the materials, the, the elastomers and the rubbers that are used, the type of textile fibers, and, and the, what we call the carcass of the tire. Anybody who drives an electric vehicle knows that there is this balance between fast performance and draining the battery and maintaining the battery and being able to go at average speed. So a lot of times they have to make decisions, tactical decisions as drivers. Do I use the energy and pass that guy or do I save the, the energy, make him waste his energy? So there's a lot more going on here than you think in an average race. This stack of tires behind me, it may look like a, like a big stack that you wouldn't have in your garage, but when it comes to racing, this is actually not a lot of tires. Each race, we bring two sets of tires, two sets of new tires, and two spares from the last race. And that's all they get the entire race. The electrification of our regular street cars, that's what's happening here on these race cars, just again in the most extreme environment possible. That's why we race. It's not just about competition and winning, it's about finding sustainable mobility, it's about finding new solutions and innovating those solutions before we even realize we need them on the road. The battery technology hasn't caught up with the racing. So what they have to do here is they have to swap cars from one to another. It would be very dangerous to go in and take these very high capacity batteries and swap the batteries. And what you'll see in the next generation of car that's, that these guys are using is you'll see the ability to do an entire race on one charge. This is still about teamwork. It's still about the passion of these drivers, the athleticism of these drivers. These guys are real athletes. They're, they're performance athletes. And it's about the team here, the engineers, the technology. So I don't think it's actually all that different from racing.